Ladies and gentlemen, boy oh boy, do I have a surprise for you guys in today's video. So earlier today, I was sitting in a call with Kenny and Sybil, and we just decided to start streaming. I was on Twitch, I literally titled the stream sitting in a room waiting for Madden 22 because that was all that it was and we got a solid amount of viewers we were just chilling hanging out talking Madden talking life whatever it is like just literally waiting for the new Madden we have been waiting us youtubers players everybody like we are just sitting here waiting trying to get some content and some wild shit just happened at the end of my stream so in the middle of the stream I was getting a bunch of comments in the chat pretty much telling me that there was somebody literally live streaming the game on Twitch, actual Madden 22. And I was like, like, bro, that's a good idea. Like you should literally like, go for that, do it, go ahead. Obviously we know he's gonna get banned, right? We know that's gonna happen. And what happened, um, I mean, he got banned, but shout out to him. He got his followers up. He got his name out there. He got hit with a guideline strike. You know, his channel got banned, but I mean, you, you, you pick yourself up, bro. It was a good idea. And I think he gave us some solid content. What I'm going to show you guys is a couple of pictures that I got from Twitter and that I got from Reddit. And it's essentially just leaked information on Mutt Levels. Now, something I want to say, these are not confirmed. This is not 100%. Obviously, some of the screenshots are a lot more obvious than the others because it's literally screenshots of the game. And then other screenshots is essentially just the code of the game. So the ones that are the code could be wrong. 100% could be wrong. I'm not saying it's a guarantee. They could be wrong, but I figured I might as well show it to you guys today and you can make a decision for yourselves. The other screenshots, I mean, they're, um, they're, they look real. They look real as fuck. So this first screenshot that we're looking at, I actually have it pulled up on my phone here. Uh, it's just, I guess, different like mutt levels of stuff that you can buy with the different levels. So buy one, get one, mutt level 15, two times elite fantasy pack for five bucks. Looks like uh, mutt level 25, an 83 to 84 overall fantasy pack. You can either buy that with coins, 20K, or you can purchase it two bucks. Not, not that bad of a deal. Uh, you also have a four times game changer bundle for it looks like 10 bucks at uh, level 35. Again, it's more opportunity to spend money, which obviously we're not gonna be doing that over here. And then uh, the last level that it shows is an 85 to 86 overall fantasy pack for 30K. Now, if you know anything about Madden and at least the start of the years, uh, the 83 to 84 overall fantasy pack for coins and the 85 to 86 overall fantasy pack for coins Those are more than likely Gonna be profitable if you buy them with coins. It's it's not it's it, it, You should be able to make a solid amount of coins. So just seeing that is pretty cool. It's pretty dope um, And obviously as you can see this is a screenshot that uh, I got from reddit and it was got from this, this this dude's stream. He was streaming, he had a ton of people. He had 425 people watching him. And I think uh, realistically he had like a solid amount more uh, than 425 people actually watching him. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, that's like the first screenshot that I saw. Pretty neat stuff. Now this second screenshot looks like it is uh, Mutt Levels again. I wanna say uh, the top right, it just shows like the percentage of the amount that's completed you have level seven level eight level nine and level ten um looks like level seven once you get that you get a strategy item looks like once you reach level eight you get a 62 to 81 overall power up pass this is kind of blurry so I, I can't read it perfectly exactly uh looks like level nine you get a 70 plus overall gold or better player uh, and then level 10 is a 86 overall nat rookie premier fantasy pack now that shit's pretty fucking wild. That means that you're gonna be able to get another rookie premiere. What looks like, even if you didn't even cre create, even if you didn't do the rookie premieres in Madden 21. So that's insane. So if you're a Kyle Pitts guy, you're Trevor Lawrence guy, you didn't do those in Madden 21, looks like you're gonna get an opportunity to do that here in Madden 22, even if you didn't do it in 21. Hopefully I explained that right. I feel like I just sound like an idiot right there. So yeah, those were uh, the main two screenshots of the actual game. And then the next screenshot that I'm gonna show you guys is really, 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 really long. I'm gonna try to like scroll through it. I'm gonna read through uh, every one of these uh, of what it is. This is level two through level 50, okay? Level two through level 50. Um, I'm gonna put a picture of this of the thing on the screen right now, and you guys can pause it and read through it uh, yourself if you'd like. That's perfectly fine. Uh, but for a sec here, I'm just gonna read through all these and just give my opinions on it. Again, this is the code. This is not uh, 
and again i'm saying code but that's probably wrong it's probably not even code it's probably something that someone typed out um but again this is not this is not like uh this is the least confirmed image i would say so level two looks like you get 50 training and a lot of these it's going to show like a little amount of training like 50 training 100 training um training at the beginning of the year you don't need that much of it for it to seem like a lot if that makes sense so 50 training is uh solid i would say solid for the beginning of the year so 50 training for level two level three is 10k coins that's fire level four is a uh 70 plus gold or better player level five is a uh seasons champion fantasy pack and then a seasons collectible i guess that's something to do with the uh player that you level up or whatever level six is 50 training level seven is a common strategy item again that's for chemistries of offense and defense um let's see where was i oh i messed up my oh my goodness i'm just i'm going all over the place boys okay level eight again this is what we were talking about a little bit earlier this is why uh if you look at them together they say the same thing it's it, i think that that's what this should be um level eight is a 62 to uh 81 overall power pass level 9 70 plus gold a better player level 10 that is that rookie premier fantasy pack nat that should be pretty awesome level 11 is another common strategy item level 12 10k coins level 13 a gold team fantasy pack at level 14 50 training level 15 a seasons collectible level 16 a uncommon strategy item level 17 is a pro fantasy pack level 18 is 10k coins level 19 again another power up pass level 20 is an elite player pack bro I, i'm reading all of these i literally feel like a newscaster right now like this is nuts i can't believe i'm just reading all these out loud for anybody that didn't know when i was younger i was sucked ass at reading out loud i'm not much better now but i mean it's working out level 21 is 100 training level 22 is a 70 plus uh gold or better player a pack level 23 is a common strategy item level 24 is 10,000 coins level 25 is another seasons collectible level 26 is a gold team fantasy pack level 27 is an uncommon strategy item 28 another power pass 29 10k coins a uh, level 30 is a rare strategy item so it's just a normal strategy item but uh, i'm guessing you can get the chemistry is a little bit higher level 31 is 100 training level 32 is a gridiron pack level 33 is 10k coins level 34 is a common strategy item level 35 is a seasons collectible level 36 is a pro fantasy pack level 37 is again another power up pass level 38 is 10k coins level 39 is a gridiron pack level 40 is an 89 overall nat ultimate seasons limbal joseph so that should be a pretty solid item to get level 41 is 10k coins level 42 is an uncommon strategy item level 43 is another 70 plus overall gold or better player um level 44 is another power pass 45 seasons collectible 46 common strategy item 47 is a gridiron pack 48 is an 87 to 88 overall power pass that's a w that's definitely solid 49 is 10k coins and level 50 is a 91 overall nat ultimate seasons george kittle okay so that is all of them i just read all of that again earlier i showed uh, a little screenshot that you can pause it read through it yourself if you'd like screenshot it on your phone crop it whatever you want to do to keep it for yourself that's all good uh what we need to find out now is how to level up the fastest obviously i don't have my hands on the game this is literally something i got from reddit and uh from that one dude stream and that 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 stream came from reddit whatever um so this is all i have i figured this was enough for a video it's pretty wild i got it on stream and i, I was like damn this this is legit like people aren't really talking about this um so i figure might as well throw it up on youtube post it see what you guys think about it this is uh kind of the the main information that we have so far again there might have been game changers that have talked about this potentially so if i'm just rehashing information that other people already know my bad um shout out to them they put out a ton of great content already so yeah this is pretty much all we have we have the three screenshots almost all of mutt levels uh player things that we can get the different packs whatever it may be yeah i think that's I think that's pretty much all I have for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. And guys, I'll see you in my next upload. Peace.